Hello everyone. As you may know, I went to London for four days last week. And I wanted to show you a little haul in this video. It's not everything I bought because I bought a lot of gifts and some of the stuffs are in the laundry or somewhere. I just can't find them. So I will just show you the majority of the stuff I got. Let's get started with Forever 21. I only got three things there and I can't find one of them but I have some footage of it so you can see it here. It's a jeans jacket with a military print on it and I think it is very cute. It was on sale so I paid only £8 for it. The next thing I've got from Forever 21 is this cute headband and this was £5.65. And the last thing I got from there are those cute flats. I really love that they have a strap here. Let's move on to the next shop which is Topshop. So I got these cute shorts from there and they were on sale for about £10 I think and I love them. I bought four different rings slash ring sets there. The first one is this cross ring and the second one is this statement piece ring and then I got this set which you might have seen in my last video which consists of these two rings and I thought that they were single rings like I thought that they were two of them and three of them but it is like one piece which I don't mind I think this is cute as well and I also got these two midi rings which is a K and an S K stands for Kira Kira Nail and S stands for Sarah, which is my name. And of course I also got some polishes. I looked through the polishes several times and I only liked two of them very much. So I only bought two. The first one is called Easy Peasy and the second one is called Buck Naked. Next up is Primark. And I don't have everything here to show you, but I will show you the stuff I got and it's not that much. So I got these PJs and these are so comfy and I love them. I love that they are tight on the bottom. I don't like if they are too loose. So yes, these are my Primark PJs. I also bought some accessories there. First of all, I bought this love bracelet. I think it's cute, but the shape is weird since it was folded. So I have to kind of bring it to a round shape first. But yes, I think it's cute. Next thing I've got is also a bracelet. And it is a bracelet to wrap around like this. And here's the same problem as I have with, with the white one. The shape is odd. So I have to kind of bring it to a round shape first. I got a third bracelet which I thought was very cute. It's this simple gold bracelet with a heart. And the last thing I've got from Primark is this necklace. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. But it is a little annoying since it doesn't stay put like that. Sometimes it kind of rolls over. But still, it's very cute. This is one of the favorite things I bought there. Um, those shoes. And I think those are absolutely gorgeous. I wish that they were a little bit shorter. But I'm fine with this. I love them. I really don't remember the shop. So um, I will try to find out. And if I find out, I will add the shop name in the description box below. I also went to the Camden Market and I bought two things there for me. Um, the first one is the shirt I'm wearing right now. Just a simple shirt like this. And I got it for four pounds, I think. And I also got this beanie for eight pounds. And I think it's adorable. Of course, I bought a lot of nail polishes besides the Topshop ones. So here they are. Let's start with the Berry M ones. 
I got five nail polishes from Berry M. So the first color is Blueberry. I like the color, but actually it was my boyfriend who wanted me to buy this color. So yeah, this is the first one. And the next color is Strawberry and I have tons of baby pink polishes, but I just can't get enough if I see such a nice shade like this one. Next I have this beautiful glittery polish which is called Pink Silver Glitter. It's this one. I think this would be great for Gyaru nails. So yeah. I have seen confetti nails a lot throughout the internet, but I never felt tempted to buy them. But I kinda thought that I want to try it, so I bought one, which is licorice. So I hope that I can do a nice design with this polish. As you might know, I'm an absolute lover of glitter nail polishes, especially the gold ones. So I had to get yellow tapas glitter. Next up is Revlon. I got two polishes from them. The first one is called Rich and I think it's a great color for the fall and winter season so I had to get it. And I also love the Revlon bottles because my mom used to have a lot of Revlon polishes when I was a baby. So I remember her having red Revlon nail polishes so those were kind of the first nail polishes. I laid my eyes on. So the next color is called Girly and it's such a beautiful color. I know such indie polishes have been around in the internet a lot and I recently started to buy such polishes and I love them. It is about my second or third one which is kinda like this and I think this is so cute. Next up is 17. This it is this polish. I don't really think that it is amazing, but it was on sale for one pound, so I just grabbed it. Let's see if I will use it a lot or not. But yeah. Next up is a nail polish from Gush, which is called Galaxy. It's very similar to the um, rich one from Le Revlon. But this one is definitely more green toned and this is definitely more grey toned, kinda, yes. And I love this too, this is, this is also like the, like the rich one, it is a great color for fall and winter. And the last polish I got is one of my favorite things I bought in London, it is one of my favorite nail polishes ever. It is Honeycomb by Urban Outfitters. And you will see this polish in my October favorite video and I hope that I can do a decent nail tutorial using this because I think it's such a gorgeous color. It has a lot of glitter parts in it and I think it's so special that I also added black tinsels but I'm not a big fan of tinsels. I, I just, I don't know, I just don't really like the look of them very much but those are like thicker and not that long, if you know what I mean. So yes, I really love this. And those were all my polishes. And the last thing I've got is this toothpaste from Superdrug. It is a premium whitening toothpaste. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, that was my haul. So I wanted to say a huge thank you to all my viewers and subscribers. We have reached 12,000 subscribers and it's such a huge number and I can't believe it. All your comments and all your likes, all the feedback I get is really what motivates me to make more videos. And yeah, thank you so much. I noticed that a lot of you are interested to know more about me, so I get a lot of personal questions as well. So I thought to make a Q&A slash FAQ video since there are some questions which I get asked over and over again and I really love to answer your questions but I think that I will do a Q&A and a FAQ video so that I can tell the people to go watch this video if they ask me the same questions again. 
So yes, um, I would really appreciate if you would leave your questions in the comment section below and I will answer them as soon as possible. I can't promise that I will answer all of them. If there are questions which are too personal or if there are questions which I simply can't answer because um, I'm not a nail pro. Some people think that I kind of like an information desk or something like that but I'm not a nail pro. I'm self-taught. Everything I know is what I taught myself. So yes, there are some questions I can't answer but I always try to an answer them telling you that is my experience, that is my advice. So yes, feel free to ask everything you want to know and I will do a Q&A and slash FAQ video as soon as possible. So yes, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!